All right, so this is another paint with sponges. So with this demo, I've painted my canvas entirely all black, uh, which is sometimes you know better to do depending on what kind of color scheme and what you're going for. Uh, you want to make sure your black is dry. So you know if you've painted it, just kind of take your sponge and make sure that it's clean once you've blotted it. We do want that black as dry as possible so it doesn't mix with the colors. And you've got to be thinking about what colors you're going to add. Obviously, it's a dark background, so your lighter colors are going to show up a little better. So I'm going to take some of my light blues that I used in the last video. And I'm just going to kind of blot that on there or drag it out like I did in the last video. And I just wanted to show you some variations on white backgrounds and versus uh, a dark background. Because a lot of young kids, as they're learning to paint, uh, just assume that they start with a white canvas. It's not always uh, the most ideal. But once I've got some lighter blues on there, I'm going to add some darker blues as well. And if you haven't noticed, blue is my favorite color to paint with. And I want some of the black to kind of shine through, or show through, excuse me, here and there. And I can take a dry sponge and kind of mix those colors that are wet if I need to blend more. Right now I'm going to mix up a dark purple. Kind of throw in there as well. Just going to lay some in there. I'm just going to kind of soften it up. Uh, I'm going to blot some of the areas, not all the areas. So I want some of the paint to kind of wipe through and be a little softer in the mixing. I want some of the paint to really be thick and stand out. Here we're just trying to work with contrast, so I'm trying to vary the amount of light colors versus dark colors. And work again through the entire canvas, not just one area. And at any point while you're working, you definitely can let certain colors dry and go over top of those. I'll throw in just a small amount of a light pink. One little more area right here. And definitely if you want a color, you can see I wanted some of the color to, of the paint to kind of pop a little more. So I'm going over it and, and making it, uh, adding another layer to it so it, it really comes out. Uh, another thing you can do is on your sponge, you can take a little bit of white here, a little bit of this uh, dark blue, 
I can have two colors sponged on there together. So it creates some variation as well. So I'm just going to go and add some, some lighter areas here. Not too many though. And just, if you run out of that color, then just kind of sponge some on. And then I just take a little bit of that color off to the side here. Uh, you can have a spare piece of newspaper, or wax paper, and a paper towel, and you kind of blot that on there. And I'm barely touching the canvas, and I'm dragging, it's just barely hanging over it. So I'm just kind of creating some subtle line. This line gives us some nice texture. And I'm just going to continue to layer until I get what I want.